a judge ruled Tuesday that Eastern Michigan must hire a softball coach by April 1 for competition next season, and must start competition for women's tennis next season. Photo, Wayne Burleson, Associated Press Eastern Michigan University's ninth inning pitch to avoid having to reinstate its softball program proved a swing and a miss in the eyes of a federal court. A judge ruled Tuesday that Eastern Michigan must hire a softball coach by April 1 for competition next season, and must start competition for women's tennis next season. Judge George Stee issued the ruling less than two weeks after Eastern Michigan Athletic Director Scott Weatherby proposed the university add women's lacrosse instead of bringing back softball, with Weatherby arguing lacrosse would be cheaper in the long run, and provide athletic opportunities for more women, and thus bring the university closer in line with Title X standards. Lawyers for the two athletes who filed suit in June strongly disagreed with the proposal, and Stee, in federal court in Ypsilanti, agreed with his ruling Tuesday. EMU shall carry out the court's order with diligence to ensure there are no further delays in reinstating the women's varsity. Tennis and varsity softball teams, Stee wrote in his five-page ruling, possibly bringing an end to a legal battle that began shortly after Eastern Michigan announced in March that it was eliminating four sports, including men's wrestling and swimming and diving, to save money. C issued a preliminary injunction in September, setting the stage for the reinstatement of the women's sports. He then ordered the sides and a mediation to work out the specifics of the actions, and lawyers for the university and the athletes met three times, October 23, in November 27 and Jan. Eight, they made some progress, with the reinstatement of tennis, but then reached an impasse when Eastern Michigan continued to balk at softball's revival. Eastern Michigan announced in November that it would bring back tennis, and quickly rehired the former coach, Jason Wiseman. It was originally stated that tennis would compete this season, and then rejoin the Mid-American Conference for 2019-20. But the university decision proved too late for competition this season. The tennis roster currently only lists two players, one of whom is one of the plaintiffs, Marie Myrova. The plaintiff is softball player Ariana Shratin. The tennis program drew one participant to an informal meeting this fall, gauging interest in playing the sport. A softball meeting drew 18 participants. Steve ruled Tuesday that because the university wasn't able to get tennis back for this season, it must use the funds that would have been allocated for this season of tennis to help with the program's recruiting and scholarships, the reinstatement of the tennis and softball teams represents only one step in the direction of the university's compliance with Title X, C wrote. Eastern Michigan said in March that by cutting the four sports programs, it would save the athletic department $2.4 million annually. Other departments across the university also were ordered into budget cuts. The athletic department's decision, however, set off a firestorm throughout the university community, especially since Eastern Michigan refused to eliminate or drop to Division II its football program, which long has been subsidized by student tuition dollars. Stee wrote in September that financial hardship isn't an excuse to work around Title X responsibilities. Eastern Michigan Long has had significantly more female than male students, yet far more male athletes than female athletes. As recently as 2016-17, the split was more than 60% of the student body, to less than 45% of athletes. Weatherby said earlier this month that there has been progress on reversing that statistic in the last year. A spokesman for Eastern Michigan didn't immediately respond to request for comment. Lawyers for the plaintiffs also didn't immediately return a message seeking comment. T. Paul at DetroitNews.com, Twitter, at Tony Paul 1984.